Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another cool lesson. We're going to make a sweet turtle using Tinkercad. First though, I want to say thanks. I sent a shout out to Garrett. Garrett mentioned that he's in one of my classes. I just wanted to send him a shout out and say, hey, thanks for subscribing. If you guys get a chance, check out his channel as well. So without any further ado, let's create a new design and make us a turtle. Start, of course, by going to that name and typing turtle, and then I'm going to put my um, initials after it just so I can keep track. And I'm going to put a three because, doggone it, turtles are cool, and I've probably made a few other ones. This turtle is going to be fun and fast, and we're going to make most of it using the half sphere. When you bring a sphere out, if you hold shift, you can stretch one corner and it stretches the rest. I'm going to make mine 45, but notice I stopped at 44. What's cool is because I was holding shift and I haven't pressed anything else, when I press the 45, it adjusts all of them. Let's look at it from a corner. This is going to be too high for my turtle body, so instead of 22 and a half, I'm going to make it 15. Uh, I'd like my turtle body to be green because I think that looks cool. Then I'm going to right click drag and take a look at my turtle body. So far, so good. Let's give this dude some turtle feet by bringing out another sphere. Once again, I'm gonna hold shift and shrink a little, but then I'm gonna type the number I want, which is 14, so that the rest switches instantly. I'm gonna change the seven to a five, and that is what I'm gonna call my foot, and I'm gonna pick a different green just because I think it's cool. This turtle is fun and fast, so you don't have to be perfect. I'm going to just drag it to where I want the foot to be. And then I'm going to do Control D, which is duplicate, and use the arrow keys to nudge the duplicate to the other side so I'm happy. When I've got them both where I want, just nudging gently. I'm going to click on both of them, so I'm going to hold Shift and get two selected. Notice up here it says two shapes. And then this time I'll use the duplicate button. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move my other four feet back to the back. I'm going to look at it from the top. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go back to a corner view. And now I'm going to add a head once again with the sphere. This time, I'm going to hold down Shift and stretch it. And I'm going to set it to be 25. I'm going to keep the 12.5, move it into the place where the head would be, and make it a green. I'm going to go back to the dark green, and then I'm going to change to the light green, just because I think that looks pretty sweet. I do want to make sure that the head is centered, so I'm going to pull it away for a second. I'm going to grab my turtle, and I'm going to group it. When you do this, notice it'll change to one color, but then you can simply click the color button and choose multicolor to switch it back. I'm going to move my head close to the location I wanted, grab them both, and use the align tool to get them so they're centered. I'm going to attach that to each other as well by simply grouping it. If my multicolor shuts off, I can fix it, but you can see it stayed on. Now we get to add amazing details to our cool little turtle. I'm going to start by giving them eyes, and I'm going to do that with the sphere. When I bring a sphere out, once again, hold shift, shrink until you've got a size that you're happy with for an eye, and then use the arrow keys to pull it into place, and then use the cone to lift it up to the height you want. That's going to be where I put my eyes, and when I've got one eye groovy, I'm going to look at it from that corner. I'm going to do control D and then I can just use the arrow keys to move it across. Double check to make sure it's where I want it. I need it to come over just a little more. And I'm thinking that is pretty awesome. Let's give our turtle a nifty smile. There are many ways to do it by maybe doing half a torus, half a tube, but I want to use the cool scribble tool. When you bring the scribble tool out, it gives us our drawing area, and then you can simply draw the smile that you want. If you don't like what you did, like here I'm going to intentionally goof up, you can undo, you can also clear it. I'm going to try one more time to get one that looks a bit like a smile, and when I'm happy, which I think that's going to be good, I'm going to tell it done. Notice my smile is not quite the right size. I'm going to shrink it down to just a couple millimeters, and then from the corner, I'm going to find this rotation, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. 
If you stay close to the shape, it uses those nice little snap lines. If you come a long ways away from the shape, you get individual degrees, and I want mine to snap. I'm gonna move it into place with the mouse. I don't mind that it sticks inside the face just a little bit. I'm gonna lift it up to the height I think it should be using the cone. And then also, I can shrink it on both sides by just using the little handles till I'm really, really happy with where it's at. And I think as a cool touch, I'm gonna actually rotate it so it's a little bit slanted as well. And I like to do that once again from these corner choices so I can see that rotation and grab that handle and just twist it a little bit. I like that. I'm gonna nudge it back in and look at it from that top front and see if I really like it. I think that looks awesome. I think I'm gonna give him a different color though because I think that looks even cooler. I'm going to group all those parts together. Once again, making sure I've got my multicolor selected. And now I'm going to give him some cute little toes. There are many things you could draw your toes with. I'm going to use the paraboloid. I'm going to use the fit view to selection, hold shift, and shrink it down till it's pretty tiny. And then I'm going to move it into place. I like that. And then I'm going to do control D and move another one. If you want to get more precise, you can switch your grid to 0.1 or 0.5. I like that. And I'm going to do Control D one more time and put a third toe in place. You can use those same techniques to add three more toes. I'm going to zoom out to full size and just take a look. That is one cute little amazing turtle. Now you can accessorize them with all kinds of amazing things like under the character generators where there are hands and hats and berets and all kinds of cool things. I think I'm gonna give my dude a mustache real quick. Let's bring that in and I'm gonna fit for you to selection. I'm gonna shrink it and shrink it and shrink it until it fits where I want and then I'm gonna pull it up in to position way too thick and it needs a little rotation switch back to that home view and that is pretty sweet give him a hat quick how about a beanie I'm gonna go back to that cool shift trick where I can just shift hold and shrink it to the size I need and then use the arrow keys I'm gonna go back to my one millimeter grid so that it quickly moves where I want lift it up Notice the cone turns red when it's ready. This definitely needs a cool tilt so we can see that beautiful turtle face. And right there we have an awesome turtle and an amazing set of toes and smile and face and mustache. And hopefully you can also see there is lots of room for you to make this turtle even more epic. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this movie. I hope you make something even more incredible than me. If you do, please share it with us at HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you enjoyed the movie, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, please add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when I make a brand new movie. Thanks for watching, friends, and keep tinkering. Grand.